Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to spawn particles in your game. Now I'm going to show you how to spawn the particles in a game that are already in Minecraft, so I'm not going to show you how to add a custom particle yet, because that is four steps ahead and we are not that far yet. But I am going to show you how to spawn, for example, smoke and fire. So I need to start up Minecraft really quick because I want to show you guys something, and I might time set zero okay so i'm currently standing in the middle of a block as you can see now to note is that the x coordinate is minus 16.5 so the middle of the block is actually minus 16.5 same for the z coordinate being uh, 236.5 so that's a thing to note and we're going to use that in a bit now we need a method that ticks every, uh, sorry, that gets called every tick to render our particles. And that method is called public void random display tick. Now this is a site only, site.client, because this is gonna um, display stuff. So this is gonna render particles in my case. And that doesn't have to be called by the server. The server doesn't need that. Okay, so this needs quite a few parameters. First one being the world. Second one being a float x, a float y, float z, and a random. Random. There we go. Okay, so what do we want? We want to create a float, which is the middle of the block, because we want the base of the particle to be in the middle and then it want, we want it to spread to the left, to the right, forward and backwards but therefore we need to have a center so that float is going to be called f1, why not? and that's going to be a equal to um, this. does this need to be a float? just checking real quick Oop, wrong one so open block top, open not material but block, open up this. Okay, so it's going to give us integers, sorry for that. I thought it gave us floats, but we can make them floats. So make that integers, just like that. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get that x integer, make it float, and add a half float, so dot five float. So that will make sure that we are in the middle of the block. To do this, use in parameters float x plus dot 5f. So once again, this is going to make the x coordinate a float and we're going to we're going to add a half float to that. Now we also want to do this for the z coordinate, but because z is the third parameter, I'm going to use f3. And again, what we want to do is we want the x, the z coordinate to make a float and add dot five to that. So these are the center coordinates of the block. Now also we need a f2, which is the y coordinate. And that's going to be equal to float in parameters floats y plus, and you could use 1.0f, but that is not always working it might sometimes be in the block so i like to use 1.1f okay so what we want now is to have the difference as we want to make the sorry make the particle go left right uh forward and backward now this can be done by a simple mathematic trick i'm not not going to explain this uh trick really because that is used in almost every class and you can find it out yourself. So float, um, sorry, again, random dot next float times dot zero, sorry, yeah, times dot zero f minus dot three f. This is gonna make sure that it is in the right distance of the block, so it's not off the block, but it is it's in a nice place so float 5 and that's going to be the z 
variation I would call it is random dot next float times minus o6 f minus minus o3 f make sure you do it this way if, uh, this way because otherwise it might mess up I'm not sure but I just prefer to do it save and use this way okay so world dot spawn particle okay there we go we need uh, to give it a lot of parameters first one is the name of the particle and in this case it's smoke the second one is the f double of where the coordinate is so we want to make a double and what do we want to make a double the f1 so the base plus the variation so yeah i guess you can see what i mean now we need the a, the y coordinates and this is again a double of f2 and we need to add a double of the z coordinate which is f3 plus the variation f5 now these are the velocity and the velocity is not used in smoke and ooh, crap, and fire, but that is, um, how do I tell you? When dynamite explodes, it shoots away. That's, that's, um, sorry, that's velocity. So in my case, I just don't want any velocity, so I'm going to use this. And we also want to world.spawn particle. And we want to spawn fire. And this is not actually called fire, but flame. So make sure you use flame instead of fire. I made that mistake once and I couldn't figure it out. The smoke was spawning, but the flame wasn't. Really confusing, but I found out that it wasn't fire, but flame. Okay. So when we go into the world, I should have my block in front of me. So we should see particles right away and there we go this is how you spawn fire and smoke into the world now i hope you like this i am going to do a tutorial on how to add custom um, particles later but for now this is how you add the normal simple particles so if you like this subscribe to my channel leave a like if you have a question post a comment uh, if you want to see the source code it's on my github link it's in the description so um, other words this was my tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.